Hey guys and welcome back to another strategy. This time we are talking about drag clone, like a basically like a spam version of the witches and the um, ice golden strategy, which I posted a couple of days ago. But this one it's going to be air, which means if you're facing a lot of ground expos, for example, you can easily use this strategy. This strategy is not only good in Legend League or against trophy bases, it's really killing it against those um, anti three star bases as well. I will show you today a lot of different bases on how you guys can use this strategy to completely dominate in Legend League and in your next clan war session. So let's get started with the first attack. Like it says in the title already, one of the best things about the strategy, it can really easily kill those island bases, those stupid, annoying ring bases. And the point of this attack or like the idea behind this attack basically is that you get rid of a part like of a part of the ring to interrupt that to get pathing for your main dragon push and you can choose whether you are using one or two clone spells for this first I would call it electron basically but it's not lalo follow up which normally uh, like what it normally is but this time it's all about the dragons on, the, on this one we are choosing to take two clone spells for the electron just to make sure that a huge part of the ring is already gone and you guys can see perfectly how much we already took out with just rage a couple of clone spells and the battle blim and this is this is crazy the next step basically is okay let's get rid of the couple of witches and after that it's all about spamming those dragons and it's not about like being a really tough strategy or anything it's a really nice strategy um, because another good point about this is if you compare it to other strategies, um, the difficulty level is really low and at the same time um, you cannot get trolled like in other strategies. For example, the Ice Grill and Witch strategy, you can run into ground expos and it's super annoying. In this strategy, it doesn't really matter if you run into single, into multi inferno tower, if you run into ground or air expos. Ground expos are actually a good thing for you. So. Everything together shows you that this strategy is for legend perfectly and in addition to that it's completely stomping those really annoying ring bases. The next step like I said just spamming my dragons in and the next thing for my heroes is I will just let them walk on the flank basically and push my dragons inside again. Now we are freezing the enemy town hall making sure that the town hall is not dealing too much damage. Meanwhile my king is tanking for my queen. Town hall is getting taken out. Warden ability so far so good and this ring base is getting completely stomped. We still have our free spell left. We have still our queen going. She took already down the second air defense on her way and she's heading to the 9 o'clock corner to the next air defense. In her way all of the dragons flying around. We have the free spell on the X on the arch tower which was a little bit annoying for my dragons. But still we have so many dragons left and they're not like they're not really dying. So this strategy is basically for everyone who is hating those ring bases, who is not really able to create the best pathing for its troops, um, because it's really simple to create pathing with this setup. And I will show you guys that obviously in another replay as well, another ring base. And as soon as we, sh I showed you guys the two ring bases I attacked, we will head over to a couple of anti three star bases, a couple of classic uh, trophy bases. And I will show you exactly on how you guys can execute this strategy on every single type in Clash of Clans. If you would like to support my channel or support me, if you like videos like this, it would be awesome if you would support me. This is kind of easy for you guys. Just go into settings, into more settings and scroll to the bottom. Over there you can type in the creator code. Type in creator code ITSU, it doesn't really matter whether it's small or big letters, just the creator code ITSU. And whenever you're purchasing anything in the game, for example, the next goal pass, well, then you would support me. Thank you so much for your support, guys. And let's get really quick back to the next ring base. I want to smash some bases, so let's get back to the next one. This one is going to be a classic one, even though it is a little bit different than most of the original ring bases. It has the same idea, which means it has this huge wall core, this huge block around the town hall, uh, which makes it sometimes really hard for some troops to actually reach the town hall. Um, but at the same time, all of the important things are basically put around the town hall, which means it makes it really hard as well if you just want to die for the town hall. So this base gives a lot of strategies, a lot of 
difficulties to actually get the second star sometimes. So I want to show you guys how easy it is sometimes for the drag clone to actually erect those ring bases. So let's check it out. The first thing is that we are doing the electron. The value is really nice on the right side. You have to basically do the electron behind the uh, sweepers. And then as soon as you see, okay, where is the sweeper pointing? For our um, example, the sweeper on this one is pointing towards the three o'clock side kinda. So we're starting from the top. This is how we can dodge the sweeper basically. Once again, we're starting off with our heroes on the flank of the dragons to push them inside. And this is basically the idea of this. All of the dragons are coming in, getting into the first inferno tower and so far it's looking really good because everything should split now in between of the expo and between of the town hall. With raging everything up, this means this is an easy two star which is secured, but we're not aiming for two stars, we're aiming for three stars. The next thing what we're doing is using our freezes. I prefer to use three freezes over three rages. I think the freezes are a great value. You do not need the additional um, rages to get through the back end, but it's really helpful to get the freeze spells um, down. On this one, we're freezing the back end air defense. So far, it's looking still great. We have crazy amount of dragons left, and our queen is even still alive with her ability. So this is a crazy big overkill. And well, this is how you can basically rank any ring base with this strategy. You always need this funnel. Take a look at the sweepers. Um, aim for important buildings like Eagle, um, air defense and stuff like this with your first electron. Then in between of your electron and your heroes, you're just sending in the dragons. And this works basically on every single style of base. So I will have a couple of more bases set up for you. Um, those one are commentated live. So we have a couple of trophy bases, a couple of under three star bases, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. So let's get started with the next base. And another really annoying um, trophy base. Those really spread out bases are normally super annoying for, for any troop basically, but I think we have a really nice idea of how to get rid of those. Once again, we will try to go for the um, eagle with our electrons. So let's try to figure out an angle which we can come from. I think we would go a little bit more from the left. So let's once again use two loons and the slammer in behind. The loons are basically tanking one to two shots of the air defense, which isn't too much, but it helps already. Uh, another rage and the clone and open it. So far, so good. Everything is looking nice. Um, we should get rid of the sweeper. The sweeper would be really important as well. Um, let's get the baby dragon going and the dragon next to it. So the sweeper didn't went down, but it shouldn't be too big of a problem because we can really nicely funnel everything into the town hall with our uh, heroes. I think that should be working really well. So um, everything here so far so good. Actually looking really good so far. So let's see bear dragons going on to the left. Let's freeze over here. The queen should get rid of this connection um, buildings and this means our dragons should get into the town hall. So this means so far so good, but the only issue right now is that the sweeper didn't went, went down, but it shouldn't be too big of a problem. We can rage now, we can freeze now, um, and this means our dragons should go easily to the town hall. Another black mine, we can use the warden ability. Our queen ability is not needed yet, but we still have our um, queen ability. Should use now, looking really good. Um, let's freeze it over here, maybe. Nice freeze. <laughs> really nice freeze by me, I guess. Um, I was trying to not go for the end. No, I'm kidding. That was a really bad freeze, but I think it shouldn't matter, right? We have so many dragons alive. Our queen is still alive. There's only one Tesla still alive, which should get taken up our queen as well. We have so many dragons on the left side. Queen should take out the storage. At least take out the storage, Queenie. Go for it. Nice. Okay. So the rest of the dragons should all go for the air defense pretty soon. And this means we, even though we had a bit, of, a little bit of bad luck with the sweeper not going down, we had a really nice freeze in the end, but still managed to get the triple easily on this base. Uh, guys, I'm saying it. Try this strategy. It's it's crazy strong. Like it's kind of like a controlled version of spam. And this with dragons right now. It's way better than most of the ground armies because 
a lot of people are using not only single infernal towers like you do not really care about single or multi you have so many dragons it's totally fine if the uh, enemy has like single infernal towers but it's it's more about the ground expos like so many players right now have ground expos because of pekka smash etc so using an air, skill, uh, air army right now it's a huge advantage and those dragon armies they are killing it so let's try to find another base okay guys let's see if we can somehow get rid of this really classic um trophy base so what is our goal our goal is to get rid of pathing or like get a pathing created basically um with our blimp i think we should aim for the eagle and we should invest both of the um clone spells so let's try it uh one two and the blimp looking good now the rage clone so far so good Eagle is down. It's looking really nice so far. It's really looking really nice. Okay, what is the next step? Basically, the next step is going to be getting the e uh, getting the dragons to the town hall. Um, so since since the electric dragon is getting, I think, to the right side. Yep, we will start with our dragons from the left because the e drag will get already a little of, a little bit more of value. So that's already totally fine. The next step is our heroes. We want to have our heroes basically getting the dragons into the town hall so we have to deploy them around here to do so let's get the rest of the dragons on the board and a couple of more loons and the one we will save for now the baby dragon normally we need it for um getting rid of trash behind the uh, how do you say that behind the electron but since well this time it's basically the electro dragon cleaning up already so let's read this one and let's rage everything over here I think so far it's looking really good. Queen ability, rage. Now the warden ability, this is looking really good. Um, now the freeze in a second on the sweeper and the air defense. And we can reduce already the bay dragon on the right side. And this should, this should, let's see. But this should be a really nice overkill if everything is working as planned. Air defense should go down at the top in a second. Really, well, really nice. The Warden was a really nice Coca Warden to soak up another Black Mine, but this means this should be another triple. Um, another uh, Black Mine. But we have so many dragons left. I think even if there are like all of the rest of the Black Mines still up there, it shouldn't be any issue. And this means we tripled the first base, which was a trophy base. So, way more bases to go. And so far, a good start into the video, I guess. So, let's see if we can find a couple of more of those. Really annoying trophy bases, which are actually not too hard with this drag clone strategy. Okay, I think on this one we will try something different. Um, our queen can reach the air defense on the right side, which is good. We can abuse that, I think. But the next thing is, it will be kind of hard to actually get any value with the electron. So let's try and start kind of early with um, the rest of the text, basically, or like the rest of the tech, uh, which means we will start kind of early with our king and one tank dragon and then the queen in behind okay now let's start with the rest of the dragons king ability warden limb behind rage over here clone and it's just basically getting used to funnel and that's all and uh, now let's get all of the dragons inside so far so good um queen ability is still up Looking good so far, I think. Oh, those bounces were juicy. Okay, now queen ability. Now the clone in the core to get even more loons, etc. Now the warden. Perfect. Okay, we have two freezes left to use, and we have say the baby dragon. The baby dragon, baby dragon. Can we? We can use the baby dragon right here. One freeze. One freeze. And this should be it, I think. The air defense on the left side is down. Air defense in the middle is going to be killed in a second, hopefully, as well. The electro dragon is kind of... <laughs> it's really annoying that everything is shooting the target of the electro dragons, which means it's basically useless. But let's see. Um, yeah, obviously, you're going for the storages. That's, that makes sense. I don't know. My dragons are stupid. <laughs> but this should be still a triple. Um, my dragons go now for the warden. And, well, even though the dragons try, they, they tried... To make this attack not work but it in the end worked so another triple on a i don't know i don't know how to, i would call the base like 
It kind of looks like a Titan farm base. Uh, I don't know. But, uh, well, I feel like this strategy is, is get it. like, you can use this strategy basically against any um, base. If it's a farming style hybrid, anti-3, anti-2, it's working against basically any um, any base. And I think that's the strongest point about this army. So if you liked this attack strategy, make sure to try it out. Make sure to like the video. I hope you guys learned something new and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye bye.